Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday and at 7.37am it is already 26 degrees. Ooh, that's hotter than it was yesterday, as in this time yesterday. It didn't hit 26 degrees until about 10 o'clock yesterday. Uh, no, 9 o'clock. So we're already heating up. Today is meant to be the hottest, hottest day. Then it's hoping to tip and go down, back down to the mid twenties, which is far more acceptable if you ask me, rather than, you know, heading up to the late thirties. Um, I am going to have some breakfast. I'm not sure what, I don't really feel like eating because of the heat, so probably a banana or something. Um, and then, Potentially, my idea is that we'll go deal with school run and everything for Harry because the school is open today, only till one o'clock though. Um, and then my idea is that I will bring Ozzy back here because this room is actually cooler than his house. The upstairs the house because it's a bungalow that's got the roof converted or it's sort of a Basically, the bedrooms are all in the roofs. So rather than having two storeys and a loft, they are in the loft. And it's stifling up there. Even with air cons and stuff, it's absolutely stifling. So, um, nap time and stuff is going to be probably quite tricky. But also, their house in general seems to get really hot. And I'm not quite sure why. So... This room is very, very cool and I could bring, I've still got Playmobil, Duplo and yeah, Playmobil and Duplo and a few puzzles and stuff. So I could always just bring the toys in here and Ozzy and I can just be here and play for a few hours to avoid the heat. And that also gives Emma the opportunity to do some work because she's got some study to do. Um, but I don't know, I'm just going to play it by ear. But I mentioned that to her yesterday and she said that might be a really good call because it'd also give Ozzy a change of scenery um well do, i don't know we'll just have to see but the first thing i do need to do is have breakfast which one are we trying to do uh, can we definitely fix this one because i can definitely give you batteries for this one oh is this a rechargeable jobby right i need to charge this up this is a rechargeable jobby Right, so the car is charging. Are you unscrewing the car wheels? Okay. Okay, we're done. Okay, you're fixing that one. Can I swap it for the that screwdriver, please? Thank you. You do that one. You gonna do it up here? Go on, then you fix that one. And I'll put new batteries in this one. Trying to pull the wheel off? Let's turn this off. Let's turn this off and see if I can cope with it. Be gone, Peppa Pig. Be gone, Peppa Pig. Right, uh, okay. See if you can do it. Yeah. Is it working? Oh, well done. I'm, I'm putting the batteries in for you. Thank you. That was working a minute ago. Why is that now not working? There you go. I'm going to fold the laundry and bring that in, I think.
laundry put out. Should we go to Pips for a bit? It's cooler at mine, isn't it? Let's go play at mine for a bit. Ice lolly and Playmobil, eh? Is that nice lollipop? No. You seem to be eating it. Did you drop the chocolate? Oh, yum. I'm having a magnum. Mm -mm. Yum. I went to make a phone call and this happened. He's had about half an hour, but I need to go and get Harry from school at one o'clock. So I'm going to have to wake him up because it's five to one. So he's had half an hour and he was in a pretty foul mood. So he's now on his tablet and he's watching Coco Melon, which has music, which might distract him better than Peppa Pig. Uh, Harry wants a tea. I'm not sure what... Harmony's doing. She's come back with us until three o'clock, so I'll just go check on them all. Time to make some sandwiches. One for Harmony, one for Harrison. Emma's got back with shopping, so I'm going to put this away and she's going to put the sprinkler system on for the dogs. on your pens please
I've managed to get Harry to sit with me for five minutes. We made an agreement to fill out something for his EHCP, which is his all about him form. We basically had to draw some things, anything he wanted and talk about it. So those are his things. I'm whipping cream for birthday cake. Whipping the cream for birthday cake for Daddy. Papa? Yeah. We are, cake. we are having cake, you're right. I don't like it, Pip. now it's got to seven o'clock I've just got home we'd had um, birthday cake and a bit of a gathering for uh, Rob which is um, Harry Sky and Ozzy's dad um, so well we bre we did beat the 40 degrees it was 40.2 degrees in London and various other places London is currently on fire literally there are fires all over the place and one in particular is destroying what looks like a little village just outside London it's it's awful pretty awful France from what I can understand is also burning it's just horrible absolutely horrible but the temperatures are meant to drop tonight we'll see um, there's been a lot of combine harvester fires around us in the last three days, something like that. And there was another fire today, not far from here, over in the next village. Um, I didn't see it, but Rob came back tonight and said, yes, it went out on the, on the farmer's network that one of the fields was burning. Again, that was from a flint on a blade of a combine. So it's pretty horrid, pretty horrid. Tomorrow though is looking much better. Um, I'm going to include some more pictures of Spog. He is ready for priming. So hopefully with the temperature dropping, Anson will be able to prime him and get him looking spangly. Um, I'm impressed he's worked so quickly because he's actually booked in for two weeks, but I'm thinking I might get him back sooner than that. He should be able to prime him tomorrow with the temperature dropping. But he said when he was doing priming on when he was doing priming yesterday it was just going off too quick so hopefully with the te temperature dropping tomorrow um spog's paint will be all right but yeah hopefully i'll get him back but tomorrow i've got emma's truck and i'm going to take ozzy to the woods because we've kind of been stuck indoors in this heat wave because it's just not safe but we are going to go and do the woods tomorrow i'm determined to get out in the morning in the shade and just go for a walk because I need to be outside and it's really hard to be outside. I did spend an hour and a half in the pool because Ozzy wanted to be in the pool. So I did spend an hour and a half in the pool and that was the best hour and a half of the day. But even after a while I got, my head was getting hot, if I'm honest. I was beginning to feel a bit dehydrated and needed to go and get a drink. Um, anywho, anywho, I'm gonna get in a cold bath now, wash my hair, cool off because it's so muggy in this house and, um, Stop moaning. There are worse things going on, right? And my house is still standing, so grateful for whatever we have, really. Thank you very much for watching, you lovely lot, and I'll see you all tomorrow.